In this trip, we will take you to a house in Kuppalli in Karnataka. This is a special house where the legendary poet Kuvempu lived. Kuvempu was an Indian novelist, poet, playwright, critic, you name it. He is widely regarded as the greatest Kannada poet of the 20th century. Government of Karnataka decorated him with the honorific Rashtra Kavi and called him the national poet. It's been long time we have been planning to explore this place due to some or the other reason we used to postpone but we didn't miss today. And there is another powerful place on top of a hill called Kavi Shaila which is next to this house. There is a small rock on this hill where Kuvempu used to sit and discuss about literature and other topics with his other friends. The place on that hill was this great poet's creative space and the scenery around this place is breathtaking. We are so excited to go there to rejuvenate our creative instinct to embrace the vibe of this place. Let's go and explore. ಕಲೆಯ ಕಣ್ಣಿಲ್ಲದವರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕಲ್ಲು ಕಾಡು ಕಲಾವಂತನಿಗೆ ಅದು ಸಗ್ಗವೀಡು ಕುವೆಂಪು Just now, I took some uh, information from the guy who was sitting inside actually. Uh, he said that this house, whatever we saw now, it has been renovated uh, around 19 years back. Earlier, it was a mud house uh, and it has kept as a museum right now. Yes. He has spent his childhood here and later on he moved to Mysore for his further studies and all. You will never see this kind of a house in your entire lifetime. We couldn't record anything inside, we couldn't take any photos because no camera is allowed inside. All in all, it's a beautiful place. You will be refreshed completely. And from outside, house looks uh, different. It looks beautiful from outside. When we get inside, there are so many rooms and uh, so many balconies, two, three, two balconies we saw, right? Yes. We saw so many rooms, balconies, steady room, kitchen. Uh, the place is very calm. And the veranda, the living room, right? The living room is the open space. We call it like skylight nowadays, right? We yeah. put glass on top of the terrace and then we get some light out of sun. So in the same way, there is no such glass, but it is open space, which is the major attraction of this place, of this house. Right behind Kuvempu's house, we'll have to climb up the hill to reach Kavishale. Our energy is little low <laughs> because we didn't sleep uh, last night. He didn't sleep for the last two nights. He only had around two to three hours of sleep. We actually plan to come by bike. But the matter of fact is I already sold my bike and I am going to buy a new bike. So that's the reason we cancelled the bike trip and we came by car. So coming by car is a bit stressful because around 90 to 100 kilometers we have uh, come to the guard sections. Yeah. You know right what happens when we go through guard sections. Uh, that too it was pretty intense uh, driving by Mr. Anup. <laughs> <laughs> Same as Mr. Madhu also. <laughs> we wanted to reach this place early. We both had some bit of vomiting sensation and all that. Ah, but that's the reason our energy is a bit low. That's a powerful place because Kuvempu used to write poems there i mean so many things so we are going to go there to get some energy from that place extraordinary beautiful lo ye olla air sikta ide breathe madakke bisle idre nove astu sikta aagta illa howdu ye andre namge journey salpa tired agide ast bitre matte nenu illa but jaga matra tumba refreshment agide thumbs up double thumbs up 
This is the background of Kuvempu's house and Kavi Shaila. Look at the incredible view right next to this Kavi Shaila. Amazing forest, Allah. Thick forest. This rock where I'm standing, this is a special rock because Kuvempu used to sit on this rock. This is his creative space, and the other two uh, poets used to sit on the same rock to write. And as you can see here, they have signed on this rock. They have just highlighted with a paint, I think. And this is the view from this rock. Awesome, right? Look at the view. Thick jungle. I couldn't get any drone shots. I had planned a lot of drone shots to take here. Some cinematic shots and all that, but it was disappointing. I pushed the authority that, hey, this is for a good cause, but they didn't allow because uh, uh, some of them came here for pre-wedding shoot and all that and they screwed up something. So that's the reason they have not uh, given the permission for the other people to take the drone shots, to fly drone here. So this is the end of the trip. We'll just end the vlog over here itself. And thank you for watching as usual. Take care. Bye-bye. ಟಿಪ್ಪರ್ ನೋಡಿದ್ರ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಂತ್ಕೊಳಕ್ ಆಗ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾಲ್ ಇದ ಮುಂದೆ ಲೇಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಿಂದೆ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಟಿಪ್ಪರ್ ಒಂದು ಕರುಣ ಹೊಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಯ್ತು ತುಂಬ ರಾಶ್ ಡ್ರೈವ್ ಇದು ಪಾಪ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹಿಂದ್ಗಡೆ ಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಏಟ್ ಬಿದ್ದು ಬ್ಲೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಒಳಗಡೆ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಆಚೆ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಫುಲ್ಲು ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅದ್ರದ್ದು ಹಿಂದೆ ಇಂದ ರಕ್ತ ಬರ್ತಾ ರಕ್ತ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಕಚ್ಕೊಂಡಿತ್ತು ಕಾಲ್ಗೆಲ್ಲ ಏಟ್ ಬಿದ್ದಿತ್ತು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ಬೇರೆ ಊದ್ಕೋತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಒಡೆದ್ರೆ ಏಟ್ಗೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಏನ್ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಗಿದೆಯೋ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಕಾಯ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೂರ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಬಸ್ಸು ಹೋಗಿದೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪಟ್ಟಿದ್ವಿ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಲೋಕಲ್ಸ್ ಬಂದ್ರು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಈಗ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅದೇ ವಿಚಾರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಯಾರ ಮನೆದು ಅದು ಕರು ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಕರ್ಸಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಓಡಿಸಿ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಅಂತ ಓಡಿಸಿ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ತೊಂದರೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಡಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಯಾರೋ ಅವನು ಡೈವರ್ಸ್ ನನ್ನ ಮಗ ಹೊಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅದು ಅರ್ಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಯಾವುದು ಅಷ್ಟು ನುಗ್ಗಳ ನಾಯಾದ್ರೆ ನುಗ್ಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಡನ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೌದು ಹಸು ಕರು ಯಾವುದೇ ಆಗ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಲೋ ಆಗಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಿರ್ತದ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಟೈಮ್ ಕುಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಆಗಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಇದನ್ನ ಈ ತರ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದೇ ತರ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ಸರಿ ಆಗಿತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಪಾಪ ನಾಯಿಗಾಗೋಗಿತ್ತು ಏನು ಏನ್ ಹೇಳೋದು ಎದೋಳಕ್ಕೆ ಎಬುರ್ಸಕ್ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಜೋರಾಗಿ ಕಿರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಕಿರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಮುರ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ಹಾಗೆ ಅದು ಕತ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಕ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಹಲ್ಕ ನನ್ನ ಮಗ ಅವನು ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ರ್ಯಾಶ್ ಆಗೋದ ಅವನು ಹೌದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗ ಅದ ಹಲ್ಕ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ ಅವನು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಮೋರ್ ಅಡ್ವೆಂಚರ್ಸ್
to show you more you know wild karnataka okay they have already seen wild karnataka movie <laughs> then they will say well, what's the point in you showing me another wild karnataka they will say archaeological karnataka na onde helo bike bandidu so we are going to see you in our next video till then take care bye 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 yell nodkon bye anta idiya camera nodkon bye anta kelagade nodkon bye andre yell bye camera ge bye bye bye